John here. I'm uh, going live at 4 p.m. time in London with Matt Hutch. <coughs> and uh, it's uh, going to be 3 a.m. in Auckland, New Zealand. So I'm just lining up now with the video, waiting for him to come on. And let me get my stuff squared up. There. Somewhere there. have my camera on myself so you'll get to hear him and see me just make sure this is you know, got enough light around so I'll drop that light out over there I've got a light over there and I don't want to switch that off because it'll go dark I'll just see what no no mind don't don't move just wait it's now three minutes to go two fifty seven a m so three minutes to four p m in London Matt Hutch he's a um, advocate for the um, tax department in Britain or England or Westminster Parliament <coughs> government. So we're going to be talking about any subject I have with our website. I'll just put our website on the I'll put this on the Facebook. Place waiting for the host. I better go back to the Zoom and open another one. Launch the meeting and share with my browser and do it again. So there I am. There, drawing, and it's back with him Matt ready to come on at 4 p.m. it's now 2.59 a.m. here and it's one minute to 4 p.m. in London so just want to wait for him and see if he clocks in at the same time because I've just gone there we go Trying to come in now, connecting. This meeting is being recorded. Oh, it's recording. Join the meeting. Join. Join the meeting. Thank you. 
Nothing to me. This meeting is being recorded. Nothing to me from my computer. This should have gone. Oh. Hello, Matt. Can you hear me all right? Can you hear me? Oh, hang on. There. How's that? Oh, very good. Very good. I'm here in Auckland, New Zealand, so uh, welcome to my little abode at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> this is my breakfast time. This, this is the best time for me to work from now to daylight. I get up at 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock. I go to sleep about 7.30 and uh, five hours is enough and I'm up as a daisy ready to go because we've got a lot to talk about. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I have. I'm always ready. I'm always ready. Yes, that's very good. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I want to do. Here, I'm right on the button and right up to it. Okay. I I've just started. I've been on Zoom meetings with Andrew Devine for Britain for the uh, um, 50 no 61st Zoom uh, meeting or Zoom Magistrate King's Bench Court. That's what I run here. A native a native court which is going to hook in well with you in Britain because it's about the British Crown estate. That's what I'm talking about as your partner. I'm your legal, legitimate partner in our flags. Our flag of King William the Fourth and your flag, the British flag, is a partnership contract. That's what I do. Contracts. I'm very good at real estate and contracts. Especially British law. <coughs> yes, so that's good because you're on the subject that I'm I need to let you know there. The key to the British Crown estate is here in little old New Zealand. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes, I've learned. I've learned in a month how it works as a mechanic. I am good at looking at problems and solving problems. So there we go. I picked you because you are right in the middle of where problems may arise and where it can be fixed right there. Follow the ship backwards and you'll end up with you in Westminster government. Mm -hmm. The Admiralty. I need help with uh, uh, joining the crypto, the British way. Yeah, I want to see. I I want to see if foreigners are allowed to join your crypto in England, the soil land of England. Mm. Yes, that's what I want to do, and I will gladly join to kick the ball rolling in the Pacific here in New Zealand, because the the narrative here is to follow the government is always right, whether it's right or wrong, they're always right, so they follow the leader, and that's where the problem is in the Parliament. I go back to the original Parliament where the law was made, not where it was adjusted to suit those in power in all corporations in the world. So that's where I start from. Go back to the source 
and there you'll find where to start from again in the next generation. Clean. Clean hands. There. I follow fellows like you. I've got them all on my website, moaipowerhouse.world, and go down to Confederation Sovereigns, and you'll see you're right there with everything else in crypto. I'm teaching a lot of our people around the world how it works, and it is very complicated, and I don't like complications in anything that's supposed to be simple as a British pound note. Very true. Yeah, cash is king, that's what I say. Cash, I'm using the two bar Patterson patented pound note, not the one bar, that's the Rothschild pound note, is not being royal assent of King William the third of Orange. So I'm a surrogate King William the Third of Orange and the Pound Note and the Bank of England Act sixteen ninety four and the Pound Note Act sixteen ninety four. That's what my profession is to dig into where it all began. The money. The fiat money. Yeah, came out of the pound note, the one bar pound note, not the two bar pound note. So I'm using the two bar pound note with the heads of who I want to put on it, our chiefs here in New Zealand who had the partnership with you. So I'm saying me here and you there are a perfect partnership in the original two bar Patterson pound note. Okay, like the Bradbury pound note. The, the ones who who printed the, the two bar power note was the Patterson, uh, the um, what do you call it, uh, Wilkinsons and some other name that printed the power note. <coughs> yeah, the original power note. Now it's Delarue that prints the power note, and I'm going to get the power note, the original one, printed in our power note system there and see what happens but I'll go along with the one bar power note first because it's working fine and so I'll leave the other one for another day we'll start from the one bar first pardon yeah the bitcoin um, uh, yeah the well, uh, Andrew Devine in England, he, well, he's in Greece, he bought me some, power, um, some Bitcoin way back in 2017, 18, when I went there. I went there and uh, we, we were all together in a group there. So I want to start again and rehash a new group there and uh, um, put together with some people that I can rely on and I trust in the group that I set off back, I started things off way back in 2008. I've been going a long few years in this sort of uh, business with the Rogan judges in Ireland and Scotland married my family here and the Cosgrove lawyers married my family as well. So it's in me, the Irish and the Scottish is in me and it's all on the website on the on the monarch coat of arms the Cosgroves and and the and the uh, Cosgroves and the Rogan judges that kicked off New Zealand I'm holding it the Rogan judges kicked off New Zealand on the commercial admiralty law of the sea and put the flag the dry land flag on the land in Waitangi and that's what I go on 1835 the founding of New Zealand flag was a king's flag. The only king's flag in the world is the one I'm holding. And they don't know this in Waitangi. They don't know the flag has 20 instruments in it. Okay? So they don't know it's Freemasons that put it together with the Manukau family and my family right through the Pacific.
Yep. So that's what I'm joining up with you. So if, if you ask any questions, I'll answer every one as best I can with what's happening with crypto, Britain, America, and the IMF, and also the World Bank. I'm right inside the Bank of England. Mm, we've got a... The IMF is trying to get the grayscale uh, uh, money, cash, into a new U.S. dollar. Okay, the 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 IMF and the World Bank has got sixteen crypto trusts where they put deposit your shares into sixteen trusts. And, uh, and that's how they're going to create the cash from people's deposits to buy the shares. But they're a closed shop uh, with grayscale. Only people who are in business or, or um, uh, what you call it, this preferred shareholders, and there's a word for it. I think I'll just have a look. It's... it's Grayscale XRP, so they are preferred shareholders and only exclusive club that you have to have 25,000 or 50,000 to buy those grayscale shares. Only billionaires and millionaires can buy it. Okay, so that's what they're doing. They're going in like a bulldozer and buying up and pushing up XRP to the trillions. Okay. So there, and then you've got everybody else scrambling around with the little cryptos which are not legal. They're trying to make the 16 trust companies, like XRP is one of them, and then you've got the other ones as, as well, um, Coinbase and, and a few XL, um, X, XRPL, and a few more other ones, I've got them here as well on the website you can see it all there unfolding what they're doing we've got our trust we've got the queen victoria trust that's going up against them from westminster you and i are in our trust okay that was set up in 1844 with britain and queen victoria and us here and we also got king william the fourth trust and that was the flag the dry land, it was a flag on dry land. All the other flags, including the British flags, are in the sea. You have to have a courthouse. Not me, I, I run a courthouse right where I'm at, here. Right here, anywhere, in the sky, under the sea, on the land, anywhere. I run a court, I've got my magistrate here. Books, and lots of books and documents, taking 50 years to put that together. Okay, so I'm running courts here. Uh, with Andy in Greece, and he um, d does it like you on Zoom, but we go on for three or four hours, long, long videos on Zoom, and people can see that we still got a connection with you there, and it's still live contract with the two flags flying. As long as those two flags are flying, over here in New Zealand, the government has grabbed our flag and gave it another name. Now they've thrown it in, in the rubbish and they've got a new flag with the Governor General's head on the flag and threw our King's Admiralty flag away and they gazetted it as uh, Cindy Kiro, she's Japanese married to Maori and her head is on the flag and they put it up and it's their corporate flag in the New Zealand Crown Government against our King William the fourth flag and the British flag. See? So there. That's what I'm doing. Just to let them know, hang on, you're supposed to be the schoolmaster, but it don't look like it. So you're pretending government. Okay? So that's something of that. You've got trust versus trust. And I want to keep the law on track with us and the people watching what I do as in my own competing witness. I'm telling a story that would match any lawyer or judge 
or politician because they don't know this story. It's a Freemason story. They're the ones that are holding everything with the instrument, the land title, the native land title of all the countries they have colonized. The word colony, the word native, and the word confederation. Three words that make up what I talk about. Mm. It's good. All the time, all the time. I've got a Zoom. Um, I, I had a Zoom yesterday morning, and I had a Zoom with Frank. Uh, Frank um, Desara, and uh, that was for one hour with him, and he was on his Zoom like you, and he didn't record it. So I hope you're recording this, because I'm for real, and everything I say is video affidavit is better than a written affidavit, because I'm very much alive with the lips moving, and you can't deny it. Someone has to make a video to match it because what I'm saying is my own... Pardon? Are you still on YouTube as well? Yes, I have. I'm on YouTube all the time. I've got many, many videos, and even on my website, you can see them deleted. The YouTube gets sensitive with, with videos they don't like because it's a bit too true. Anything that goes against the narrative, if you just as much as speak a little about, about the vax word and you'll get censored so I don't talk about that I used to but it didn't get any favors from them so I'm trying to keep myself squeaky clean when it comes to talking something that I believe in pardon Oh, they just deleted my, my post and banned me for a month or two for saying something that wasn't to their misinformation about something that we're saying here. There's people dropping dead all over the place. Even my family's dropping dead. You see? Because they, they, you've got no death certificate. They won't give you a death certificate. See, because they hold on death certificate, which is still making money for them. When you're dead, they're still making money. I know all that lot, to where they use your birth bond, government bond, and keep it rolling, to collect on you and probate you if you don't claim anything from the trust that's set up for you. They claim it. The Crown claims it. So everything the British Crown owns in the Crown Estate, I've got SGAT, SGAT, claim on it if I can prove that we have a contract with Britain and Westminster Parliament. That's, that's all this is. It's just saying we are the lost tribe here of Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria. Here, she, Queen Victoria more so, because it was her people here that she used our native land title, the 1862 native land court title to the land. She used it in your law there, 1862 Native Land Act for all your corporations. This comes from here. The, the, the the Waitangi Marae and the Waitangi where the King William IV flag is on the dry land, at that Marae, she owns it. The Crown owns the Marae, where everybody goes every year to get permission to use the Admiralty and that flag of Britain. It's a British flag. It's not a Maori flag. It's a British King's flag of all the corporations in the world never got given a flag from a King. There, that's who I'm surrogate for, that king and the other kings. And King George IV, he's 1823, he made the land lease here 
with our chief. See, nobody knows about that one, so I'm his surrogate as well to tell his story, and I'm just waiting for someone to say no, and nothing so far, so it's Queen all the way through. You've got the surrogate Queen Victoria, 1837, that's when King William IV died, and then you've got the surrogate King William IV, 1830 to 1837, Westminster Laws, I use those laws, and in it you've got the Hanging in Chains Act, that's in this court I'm doing, if you play around and muck around with our contract between here and Britain. You're liable to get one of the acts of King William IV on your head. That's what I do to see who's going to jump. You see, then you've got King William III of Orange that made the War Powers Act that created havoc in the United States. 1689 War Powers Act, and they made it an um, emergency war flag in America, but they don't have a land flag. They've got sea flag in the sea, so they have to go back in the sea if we say so, if it went to court in the Rolls Building in London where I set it all up. I've already been there to set it up in the court if anybody plays up. They've got to go there. I don't have to go there. It's already there. You see, because I've got a right to speak from here in your native first native country to go into the commercial contract world that only started at, well, it started way back in 1066 with William the Conqueror. That's where this crown started from. Right back then, I've got to go right back to him and link it up with King William III of Orange and then link it up with King George IV and link it up with King William the Fourth and Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth to me here to keep continuity of sovereignty going to the government bonds. See all that lot you you it's where you are, it's very good for me with you being there, because I only needed one person to tell and then it should go from there. Normally or naturally. I'm for everyone, not for myself. I have all my information is free. And you know who picks it up? The government picks it up. And away they go with it. Because nobody else is doing anything to pick it up. Everything I've got on the website is being they when I went to England the last time, they the trolls destroyed the website, the first website, so I had to make a spare one and the one I've got is a spare one, but I had the shares all going to raise money. Now, I um, want to tell you this. I put a claim together for King George IV, and it came back as 17 trillion. That's in the court. Okay, so that's been stolen here by a Freemason, a barrister, and a Maori. That's where I used to live in Hamilton. He's said, give me your sticks, I gave him three sticks, memory sticks, and his barrister and, uh, and the Freemason went to Scotland, where the land titles are in Scotland, in Edinburgh, and they said, it's real. The contract is real. So the court here is looking better each time, and now I'm just going through the Australian uh, bank Association, and in Singapore I'm going through Scali, which is in France. They're, they're the tag pay I used to be in, in 2008 when they started. It's now, it used to be called tag pay. The money, the quickest way to get money around the world, and they are the pioneers, and these Americans are stealing the ideas of transferring money in under three seconds. And it, I used to transfer money because I'm a broker, a mortgage broker and real estate agent. Okay, so there, that's my profession way back in that time, in 2096, um, uh, 1996, I was a real estate here in Remera, Auckland, with all the 
big properties. Okay, so there, I didn't go there to make money for myself. I went there to learn. So I won't stop learning. That's the thing. I want to give information and freely so that it should something should eventuate from it for the next generation. And that's what I'm trying to do. There, it's your your wealth of knowledge with uh, the tax department. That's why I'm try I'm waiting for the tax department in Australia about the 17 trillion. You'll see it all the court cases all on my website, and I'm conducting it all the way through the years on the Marae, and then we're on number 61 Zoom court hearing, native court hearing on. On, on, on being regular, but I've stopped now because I'm going to do my own story. Okay, I give Andy a rest. He's in Greece. He, he, he's been doing all the court hearings all the way through to keep a record. So he's got a record. He keeps all the videos. He's got his own videos, and I got my own. But he's got full record of how to run a native magistrate, King's Bench Court, not Queen's Bench Court. King's Bench Court. Now that you've got Charlie, he's a King's Bench Court. You see? So they have no connection to where they got the money from. They stole it all. <laughs> yeah? See? So they've got to prove how the hang did they get around the world to pick up all the countries that they're getting money off from the native land title, 1862 Westminster Native Land Court Act is there, is from here, right? And bankrupting America in 1933 is here on Mount Eden Hill. I did a video on YouTube with Jean O'Dean, professor from America, came here just to talk to me, and she said, where did this come from? I said, here, this memorial. See the stone, 1933, Bankruptcy Act. So the 1933 Bankruptcy Act in Westminster comes from here to bankrupt America and to make the one bar pound note go into fierce currency. Okay? All that is up here. I don't want to take it to a grave. I want to give it away and see who's clever to pick it up and run with it. So any questions you've got will be very beneficial for anybody going in to buy the crypto there because that one I trust. I don't trust the hyped up one because it's inflationary and it's not opening clean hands. That's what's the problem with the US, like what JP Morgan CEO, uh, Jamie Dimon says. It's a hyped up fraud. The recording has stopped. Oh, join the meeting. Go back to there. Oh, shit. That's gone off. Here's your Zoom. We'll go back to the Zoom and launch the meeting. Go back. Join with your browser. Join the meeting. Join. Join. And here. Oh, got to wait for him. It's gone. He's he's gone off. What? I just got to make sure the. Internet is on. Yep, it's on. It's on. And waiting for the host. Waiting for the host. And waiting for Matt to come back on. He's gone off. And it's either the internet playing up or I've been the video the half an hour is gone. Yeah, it's half an hour already. So it stopped right on the half an hour. 
and so I'll have to pick up tomorrow morning and ask him to come on my video tomorrow morning because I'm supposed to be on in eight or well that's two days one eight tomorrow I'm on at eight thirty in the morning so this was today with him <coughs> and I booked it on my zoom for tomorrow so I'm just waiting to see if he comes on host to sign in I'm waiting to see if he signs me in but this half an hour is over and I did most of the talking and he would have got a, a lot of what I said but didn't give him a chance to say anything well I, I thought if, if, if anything we can come back on again tomorrow and I'll put another one through to him to come on my Zoom tomorrow which was longer than his I, I got an hour given to me yesterday or day before, no yesterday I got an hour and more than 30 minutes or 40 minutes is the limit so I don't know where he's only got 30 minutes and I got one hour yesterday or I cut it off before the hour was up so I've got a little bit more extra time because the rule says 40 minutes <coughs> so I've had <coughs> 40 minutes I went on late trying to figure it out so it looks like that Zoom meeting is over and I can switch it off and, uh, and I've got the microphone here onto the laptop so now I can stop the laptop at 8.32 a.m. Um, which I started at, oh, what is it? 3.32 at 3.33 now a.m. I started it at 3 a.m. so that's a little over half an hour on this uh, laptop recording with uh, Matt and you can hear him talking to me but I didn't leave much room for him to say anything but I hope that he got everything I said and may make something good out of it okay because I think he got a big shock that was it got a big shock when he goes to my website he'll get more shock that oh we do have a partnership with him if he wants to if he doesn't well that's up to him really and I, I, I wondered why the video cut off I should have been prepared for that I, I, I forgot about the half now because I'm so used to making over three hour long zoom court hearings and this is only a half an hour not nearly enough but it was enough for me to cram in a lot of things of what we get to on the website moaipowerhouse.world m-o-a-i p-o-w-e-r h-o-u-s-e dot w-o-r-l-d moaipowerhouse.world and type in where it says um, Confederation Sovereign okay click on to that page Confederation Sovereign and scroll right to the bottom and you'll see everything about what I'm going to talk about with Matt and him in London being our partner with his flag British flag and our flag King William IV two flags that makes a contract okay so there, that's that. Now I can go back to work and switch the video off. I don't need to talk anymore. <coughs> and the next video is tomorrow at um, the same time. 8, oh, 4 p.m. in the evening, Britain, and 3 a.m. in the morning here. Okay, it says my Zoom meeting is at 8.30 New Zealand time, which is, I'll just see what the time is in Britain, London time at 
a.m. Eastern Time. Next time in London at 8.30 is 9.30. If it's 9.30 then London I might have it earlier. I might change the time to 7.30 and make it 8.30 in UK. 8.30 or even 7.30. I think I might change it to 7.30 in the evening, Britain time, and uh, um, it, it would be a little easier on the host there if it's not too late. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'll change my time for the meeting in the morning and make it 7.30 in the morning. I'll go live and that's going to be 8.30 in London, 8.30, 8.30 in London, 7.30 in London, and one hour if I go 6.30 a.m. is all right, 6.30 is all right, yeah, I might make it 6.30 in the morning here, <coughs> which will be 7.30 in London, okay, 7.30 p.m., in London. That would sound better for everybody host there and not too late. Okay, so we'll wrap this one up for now and we'll see you later. Okay, thank you very much. I should be off now. And today is Saturday the 21st of September 2024. I'll just make sure of the date. 21st, yeah, Saturday 21st. And uh, um, it's Friday in London, the 20th. Okay? All right. See you later. Bye.